to protect me in this battle. To my health. And death to the others! <laughs> All that's left to do is find Father Eustinius. Welcome to Eden, the lighthouse of faith, harmony, and civilization in these wild lands. Thank you. Desade. I am the legate of the merchant congregation. And I am Father Eustinius. Delighted. And what may I do for you? The Mother Cardinal has asked me to investigate the theft of these tablets you discovered. That's excellent news. The loss of the tablets is a catastrophe. We have to find them at all costs. If you want to learn more about these tablets, you should go ask Sister Eugenia. She supervises the theologians who discovered them, and were also guarding them. You should find her a bit further in the village, with her colleagues. Who are the suspects of this theft? The heretical brutes of the village of Vedlug most likely had a hand in this. They must have wanted to please the demons they worship by stealing the holy word from us. How could they have learned of the tablets' existence? Uh, perhaps the demons are giving them this power. Unless one of the natives living in the village innocently mentioned them. They are so naive. Either way, I am certain that the heretics are involved in this matter. I must leave you. Goodbye. May the enlightened always keep you in their divine blessing. I wonder what really happened when the missionaries came to settle here. It all seems a bit too convenient. If we find out some information about the history of Eden, maybe we'll change our view on things. The theft of the relic is probably not a coincidence. Father. I'm glad to see you, my child. What can I do for you? Tell me about how you created this village. We did not create it from the ground up. It was built around an existing native village. The islanders called it Vigsenegad, which translates to the village of the old sage. Huh. We saw it as a sign. The natives had probably chosen this name in memory of St. Matthias, and everything here fit the description of St. Lucius. The discovery of the tablets proved us right. So, we decided to rebuild our Eden here, in the spirit of peace and harmony which is described in the scriptures. Why share this village with the natives? To replicate and resume the work of our founder, of course. If he came here and managed to convert the natives, then it is our duty to do the same thing. By living side by side with them, it is much easier for us to pass on our teachings. How well do you get along with the natives who live here? Uh, very well, of course. Especially since those who opposed our presence left. Left? To go where? 
Oh, to other villages, I imagine. Does it even matter? Those who stayed are on the path of enlightenment. Some of their legends must have been about Saint Matthias. That helped to convince them. And how well have neighboring villagers welcomed you? With some reluctance, to be perfectly honest. So, we sent them missionaries. There are still frequent conflicts with the village of Vedluk, a highly violent village of heretics. But the other villages, the more peaceful ones, are slowly starting to listen to the sacred word. There is something strange here. It often takes time for the people of the continent to get used to our paradise, but I am sure you will come to appreciate it. I must leave you. Goodbye. May the enlightened always keep you in their divine blessing. Hello. I am Lair, the village leader. Well, I was the leader of this village. Hello. De Sade. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. There are Onol Manawi among the Logaid Blau. I did not know that. What do you want from me? I have heard a lot of things about this village of Eden, but I'd like to hear your version. Hmm. I'm not sure Roy have the answers to all of your questions, but I'll try. Tell me about the arrival of the people of Teleme and how you received them. The priests were roaming around the village. They were saying that it was the place where their saint had lived. They were asking questions, talking about the Lloyd and all these things. One morning, they were building houses next to ours. And we had new neighbors. The priests told me that they had managed to convert you. How did that happen? As long as we refused to listen to them. They were violent, and they destroyed some of our sanctuaries. So, we let them talk. And now that they think that we love their god, they leave us alone. Some of the things they say are beautiful, and their magic is impressive. But we do not forget our spirits. One of the theologians told me that you had helped them in their research. They wanted to find tracks of the old sage, of the one they call Saint Matthäus, and they were rummaging through everything. Our Donegad did not want to tell them anything, because the old sage is sacred here. But since they violently interrogated everyone, I thought it wise to guide them to the place where the stones were. What happened to your warriors? Why did they have to leave the village? They did not accept the presence of the priests and their questions. They tried to retake the village. They even asked Derdra, the chief of Vedlug, for her help. So, the priests called the soul Lassa, the Burning Sons, and they killed many of them. Oi asked for peace, and the others left us. They wanted to join Vedlug. Perhaps they have done so. Aren't you angry after all that happened? No. I mourn those who died, of course. And the Vorstirent. But this village may be our opportunity. Your opportunity for what? For the Renaigse to understand who we are. Not savages, nor monsters, but men. Perhaps wiser than they are. I have to go. Like so many others.
I am busy. If you have questions, go see Sister Eugenia. She's... Hello. The Mother Cardinal asked me to help you find the tablets that were stolen. Can I ask you some questions? Of course. But hurry, I have a lot to do. I talked to Father Eustinius. He told me that you were supervising the theologians here. Indeed. It is under my supervision that the research on St. Matthias is conducted. Whom do you suspect of being the thief? Oh, alas. I'm afraid there are many suspects. These tablets are priceless relics. Some settlers may have fallen prey to the lure of profit. The heretical natives of Vedlug may have wanted to take them away from us. Or it could have been vengeance by those who had to leave the village. Where were the tablets the night they were stolen? We were keeping them in one of the village's shacks. We intended to bring them to San Mateus later. But first, we wanted to examine them in order to obtain as much information as possible. You can go and take a look in the shack if you want to. But I couldn't find any traces of forced entry. I imagine that someone was keeping watch over them. Of course, we took turns guarding the shack. But some of us can't have taken the task that seriously. If I remember correctly, it was Brother Virgil who was guarding them that night. Well, thank you for these pieces of information. I am the one who should be thanking you. Especially if you manage to retrieve the tablets for us. The Mother Cardinal told me that this village has been developed on the basis of St. Lucius's writings. Are you one of the theologians who helped in its creation? I was sent here to confirm that this place is indeed the one described in the writings, and then I stayed. What was the reaction of the natives when you arrived here? Most of them were not in favor of us living amongst them. They were afraid we might chase them out of their own village. And there were even more protests once we started talking about searching for traces of St. Matthias. I suppose they thought we would destroy all of their raised stones and other places of superstition. Were there any confrontations with the natives? Yes. The warriors of the village attacked us. The Ordo Luminous actually had to intervene. The Inquisition managed to make them run away. The islanders tried to attack again with the support of Vedlug, but we stood our ground. And when Lur, the chief of the village, finally accepted our presence, things calmed down. Thank you. This information will certainly prove to be useful. Thank you. I will let you work. Do you have any ideas about who stole the tablet? Some of the village savages helped us during the search. Perhaps they are behind all of this. There was a particular woman who seemed to want us to be there. I don't remember her name, though. If you are saying that these tablets bear writings from the very hand of our holy founder, then we must find them. Without them, all our research to trace the life of St. Matthias on this island is doomed to failure. If these savages have stolen them, we will have to take them back, by force if necessary. Greetings. Desade. I'm handling the investigation into the theft of the tablets. Sister Eugenia told me to talk to you. I'm Brother Virgil. What would you like to know? According to your colleague, you were the one in charge of guarding the tablets on the night of the theft. Is that right? Indeed. What can you tell me about that night? Did you hear or see anything? No, nothing in particular. The night was quiet, and then the morning after, we saw they were gone. Someone had to enter the shack to steal the tablets. How did that happen? I have no idea. The door was closed in the morning, and the lock was intact. Do you suspect anyone in particular? Not really. What I can tell you for sure is it is not one of us. Well. Sister Eugenia did tell me that the tablets were priceless. Of course. But our motivation is not the lure of profit. 
All that matters to us is their value as proof, not the money we could make out of them. Do you think the culprit could be a native? Well, since none of us did it, it seems obvious. There aren't many other settlers around here. And the natives knew of the existence of these tablets before we found them. They were attached to them too, in their own way. They are the ones who led you to them. Well, we conducted the research, but they helped us find where they were hidden. Some inhabitants of the village are still giving us a hand with our work. Well, thank you. I will investigate where the theft took place. As you wish. But you won't find anything there. And why does it matter, anyway? There were witnesses to the discovery of these tablets. We have all the proof we need. And that's all that matters. What do you mean? Now we can prove St. Matthias lived here. Our actions on this island are justified. To keep rummaging the way Sister Eugenia does will only create more tensions with the natives. <laughs> I was not expecting a theologian to say such things. Have you been in Eden for a long time? Two months, approximately. Back then, there were still some pagan natives in the village. I joined Sister Eugenia's team with some of my colleagues, so we could give them a fresh outlook on things. We arrived straight from Teleme, hoping to study some new texts. But once we were here, I understood that my real mission was with the islanders. We must bring the light to this island. You talked about a mission with the natives. What did you mean by that? I may be under the command of Sister Eugenia here, but my superior is Bishop Domitius. Our mission is to banish pagan cults and convert the entire population to the light. The island belongs to Saint Matthias, and therefore to Teleme, since the God of Light offered it to our founder. If your superior is Domitius, you are a member of the Ordo Luminis. I did not expect to find one of its members side by side with the missionaries. They usually do not get along. The Order goes everywhere the light needs to be revealed. You have a very unique way of seeing things. I doubt everyone accepts it. How are your relations with the natives? When I arrived, we were still trying to obtain information from them about Saint Matthias. But they were very reluctant to give us any answers. We were also trying to educate them. Our attempts eventually made some of the inhabitants of the village react badly. Most stubborn against our teachings, the warriors and the marked. The ones the natives call the Onomanawi. They eventually left, and it has proved nothing but a blessing for us. I would like to go back to work now, if you don't mind. Of course. I will leave you to your work. Goodbye. I knew that the story would be more complex than we've been told. I find it regrettable that my colleagues aren't more honest when it comes to history. Nothing solid has ever been built on lies. Either way, the resentment here is strong enough for a theft to occur. Hmm. There's only one entrance, and the door shows no evidence of a break-in. Can't believe it. This brother Virgil was unforgivably neglectful. Idiot must have fallen asleep, and then our thieves only had to take the keys from him. It's very likely that that's what happened. But someone must have informed them. It can't be a coincidence that they decided to steal it during the watch of the only neglectful guard. It has to be someone in the village. If we find them, there's a chance we can retrieve the relics. We know that this theft could be an act of vengeance by the natives who were forced to leave here. They must still have allies in the village. Family or friends. We should go talk to the chief of the natives. He will certainly know who's close to the exiles, and enough about the researchers to inform them.
You have returned on all Manawi. Do you need something else? I think I know who stole the tablets. Really? I believe those who were exiled from your village seek vengeance because the missionaries forced them to leave. They must have taken the tablets with the help of someone else who stayed here. You may be right, but you may also be wrong. You do well to tell me what you know. Once the priests have reached the same conclusions as I have, how do you think they will interrogate you? You're probably right. The Inquisitors would come back, and my people would suffer. I do not want to break the peace that I did all I could to make. I think the name of the woman you are looking for is Vindwal. She helps the priests who seek the old sage. If she's helping the priests, why would she betray them now? Her son is one of the warriors who had to leave the village. He is filled with anger and fury. If you go talk to her, please, do not hurt her. She is but a mother who acted according to her son's wishes. I have no intention of hurting her. But things may not be so simple when it comes to her son. I have to go. Like so many others. Greetings. Are you Vindwal? Bertia Tumad. Yes, that is me. What do you want? Listen, I know you helped the exiles to steal the tablets of St. Matthias. No, this is not true. It wasn't me. There's no point in denying it. I know you did it for your son who had to leave the village. If you know that, then you know that I don't have the tablets. So what do you want from me? The only means of alleviating the situation with Teleme is to give the priests their tablets back. So if you do not want your son to suffer their wrath, it would be best if I could retrieve them discreetly. Uh, Bran and the rest of the Exoils are hiding in the woods, beyond the Stone Circle. If you want to take the tablets away from them without being seen, do not take the part on the left. It is riddled with traps. And please... Do not hurt my son.
Here's the place that Vindwal indicated. The exiles must be near. These people have been banished already. There's no need to add death to their list of punishments. Let's try not to fight them. Don't worry. We'll be discreet. Yeah. Do it! What are you doing here? I'm not here to fight you, but I must retrieve the tablets of Saint Matthias. What? How do you know we have them? And how? Not for thee. We will not give them back! We lost our homes and families, so the priests lose their sacred stones! I know that you are seeking vengeance, but the priests will not be the only ones to suffer the consequences of your actions. Your mother helped you, and once they find out about it, she will pay the price in your place. Is that what you want? They will not suspect her. She's helping them in their research. And even if they found out, they wouldn't hurt her. You are wasting your time. Perhaps I could do something for you in exchange for the tablets. You are a Renaikse. You cannot help us. I am also an Onol Manawi. So? We want to join the Sengeden Anadas, Derdris clan. But she only accepts warriors, and not all of us are warriors. Give us a family and a home, and we will give you back the priest's stones. Very well. I will go see her. I hope that we manage to convince Deirdre. You are from the continent, are you not? You are different than the people from here. Delighted to see you again, Sister Ephesia. Father Petrus, is that really you? What are you doing here? Merely a courtesy call. How might I help you? How has your mission fared up until now, Sister? Not very well, I'm afraid. I haven't been able to get much from these villagers. Their chief and their priest are evasive when questioned. As for the other natives, their behavior can be quite odd. They'll spend hours just staring into the void. 
But as soon as I come close, they chase me away. They frighten me, I must admit. There is a heavy veil of evil here. I feel it, but I'm not able to find from whence it comes. Perhaps you should talk to them. They may speak to you. Anything else? Have you been here for a long time? Since the beginning of my investigation. A few weeks, perhaps, although it feels like months. I'm not particularly fond of the wild, and I find this place unsettling. I see. Anything else? Have you been here for a long time? Since the beginning of my investigation. A few weeks, perhaps, although it feels like months. I'm not particularly fond of the wild, and I find this place unsettling. I see. Anything else? That will be all, Sister Ephesia. Thank you. Good day. Are you the wise man of this village? Burd tir du mad renaixe. Oi and the done gad. Yes. I would like to ask you a few questions if you don't mind. The people of your island are constantly asking questions, yet reject any answers that displease them. Questions have no value when one already claims to know the answers. But it is your case. You believe you know the answers. You seek only their echo. Answer your own questions. At least then the answers will please you, and we shall be done with your foolishness. That is not what I... Qua awelemseg. May your answers fill your day with bounty.
Bär tir tu mad, on all menawi. I am Derdra, daughter of Enora, daughter of Rowena, mal of this clan. Is it you who helped my warriors discover what the men of the Red Sun were doing? Indeed. Then I thank you. It's probably because you are an Onol Menawi that you are different from the other Renaikse. What do you seek? I come on behalf of the exiles of Vix Onegad. They'd like to join your clan. Some already have done. The others should just do like them and undergo the trials of the warriors. But not all of them are warriors. We're about to go to war. Those who do not know how to fight have no place amongst the Sengeden Anadas. I implore you to reconsider, Dedra. Though they may not all be fighters, these people will know how to make themselves useful in your village. Very well. You have helped us, and I trust in your judgment. You can tell the exiles that I'm waiting for them. Anything more? Can you tell me something about your beliefs? We believe that we are part of an everything. And that life depends on a balance that comes from this everything. Our strength is drawn from that which we protect. All that surrounds us. And that which surrounds us feeds and protects us in return. What can you tell me about your clan? My people are proud, full of courage and tough. That which destroys others makes us stronger. Many of them fear us, even amongst the other clans, because the fury of the storm warriors is a story often told. But when we are not fighting, we are peaceful people, and we are happy guarding over our sacred woods. Anything more? Concerning this story about a sect... Enough! Enough questions! I have nothing more to say. I'm glad I managed to convince her. Now we'll be able to retrieve the tablets, and the Exiles will have a clan once more. Can't you leave us alone, Monisanai? Leave me be! Even your thoughts are loud and break my peace! Traitor. An Anol Menawi does not wear the dress of the strangers. Birtir to Madre Naikse. Good day. Do you want something? Could you answer a few questions? Questions, questions. It is a word that you adore. Let us play a game. If you answer my questions, I will answer yours. If it is the only way to get answers, then let's play. I am pleased. We will have fun. But beware, no lies. What name is given the place from where you come? I come from Serene. A grand city on the continent of Gacane. Really? It is possible that you come from there. But I believe that this is not your land. Your turn.
Your village seems different from the others. Why is that? Each village is different than the others. It is the reflection of those who live in it, and of all that surrounds it. Vedlug is the village of the lightning-struck wood in your language. Why do you call it that? It is said that there was once a great fire that burned all the surrounding woods caused by a storm. But one tree that burns nourishes a new tree, greener and stronger than before the forest returns. We are like her. Even wounded we rise again, stronger than we were before. Our warriors are known for this by all clans. They fear us. Let's try something else. Are you on all Manawi with your land? Or did you inherit your link from your parents? I am not bound. Or at least I haven't done anything in particular to bind myself. Then it was your parents. One of them at least must have been Donegad. Your turn. Could you tell me more about your beliefs? What a strange question. I don't believe. I know. Nature is alive. A forest is like a village. Every river, every rock, every beast, the land itself, all live, all speak to us. In exchange for these gifts, we honor her, give her our dead. This is the way of things. We do everything in our power to protect her. It was fun. More than with a woman who makes light. She did not want to play. Summer Mila, mach de wegander. You have a strange stare, Renaixe. Leave me alone. Leave us alone, Renaixe. We have had enough. Can't you leave us alone? Leave me be! Even your thoughts are... Traitor. An Anol Menawe does not wear the dress of the strangers. Birtir to Mad, Anol Menawe. What do you want? You're different from the others. What is your role in this village? Different? Why? Well, for one, you answer me when I speak. You others. When we don't answer you, you start digging for answers everywhere else. I am a gatherer. I hunt a little. I do my part for the life of the village. What can you tell me about your rituals? Our rituals? Nothing. Nothing at all. They do not concern me. I am not a Denegad. Even you. You should be able to tell that. Why you bother me with these questions? I am only a gatherer. Go and bother someone else. Tell me about the missionaries that came here. Those who wear the symbol of the sun on their clothing. When they came, they spoke about their bright and shiny god. They told us... We were wrong. Said that nature was just nature, and not to be worshipped. These men know nothing. We ignored them. They finally left, 
And then the woman came to us. She sniffed around everywhere, asking many questions, just like you. I was told that she tried to enter my own home. I even saw her trying to follow me in the woods. She must be careful. It is easy to get lost in the woods. Or cross paths with wild beasts. This question will seem strange to you. But do you know anything about a demon? A... demon? A dark spirit, if you prefer. No. There is no such thing as dark spirits. Your question is not strange. Foolish, perhaps. What can you tell me about the beliefs of your village? The beliefs of the village? That is a strange question for an Onol Manawi. Our beliefs are the same as those of the other clans. We believe in the earth that carries us and feeds on our dead. In the rain that quenches us and drowns us. In the beasts that feed us and in those that eat us. I do not know what more I can say to you. Everyone shares these beliefs. I must leave now. Thank you for your help. Anything new? No. The investigation has gone stale. The villagers won't even engage in conversation with me now. Perhaps you should talk to them. They may speak to you. I managed to exchange a few words with some villagers, but they don't seem all that keen to talk. And did they tell you anything worth sharing? I know a little more about their beliefs. They worship nature and do not intend to change. It is certainly different from the luminous faith, but it's hardly demonic worship. Yet there is something strange about this village. One of the villagers that spoke with me seemed truly worried. On edge, even. I think I know of whom you speak. A man always looking over his shoulder. He often sneaks out of the village like a thief. I attempted to follow him, but he always eludes me. I tried to get into his hut to see if he was hiding anything. But someone was always there. Then we should give it a try. Perhaps we'll fare better. Mm, this fellow did not seem very honest to me. If he's hiding something from us, perhaps we can find out what it is by searching his house. He doesn't look inclined to let us in. We'll have to distract him. I wonder if that eccentric young lady could help us. She seems to like you. Or, of course, we could create a diversion by breaking some of these pots. I can pretend to be clumsy, but we'll have to be fast, and it will only work once. I will admit that it is rather ghastly, but I'm almost certain that the warriors of this island wear these things in battle. This altar is incredibly morbid. I wonder what sort of spirit could be venerated in this way. This is exactly the kind of proof we've been looking for. An evil cult, far from some naive veneration of nature and other island spirits. This painting is frightening, evoking war, a massacre, a bloodbath under the likeness of a grimacing face. All these gruesome and bloody horrors leave no room for doubt. There is a demonic cult here. We should go tell Sister Aphesia.
Did you learn anything? No, nothing more. Were you able to get inside the nervous man's hut? I was able to sneak into the hut of our mystery man. And what did you discover? Some troubling things. A ritual mask, a rather morbid altar, and a fresco depicting a massacre. By the enlightened. To think these unholy things were so near. Finally, the proof we need that there's a blood-worshipping cult here. They cannot perform their heinous pagan rituals in the village. And I'm certain that it's where our nervous friend sneaks off to. I fail to find where he goes. But you have already proven more competent than I. I shall try. Hopefully he will not lead us into a trap. Thank you for your help. And good luck. We should wait until nightfall and follow him. Perhaps we could hide and wait here. Then we will be able to see where this sleepless boy goes during nightfall. Wake up, Greenblood. He's here. To my help! And death to the others! Things are about to get dicey! Our man have gone. These strange roots are forming some kind of door. This must be where he went. child you are very pale as if you just saw something terrible that's precisely what has happened for a brief moment i was this tree this is truly some strange sorcery what exactly did you see perhaps it is some sort of key i was this tree and my branches were shaken by a storm so strongly that they hurt terribly the heavens caught fire several times, and I felt the lightning strike and pierce me through and through. A sinister warmth took hold of my entire body in an instant, and flames began to devour me. Life left me. All was calm, and I had a taste of cinder in my mouth. In spite of this, I continued to feel. 
and the rain began to fall on my roots. And at the very heart of my being, I felt the sap begin to flow again. A shoot appeared on my darkened roots. Then the vision dissipated. I have never experienced anything like it before. This stone bears the image of a storm, or perhaps the wind. The drawing on this stone represents lightning. Here, this looks like a snowflake. Snow or maybe ice. This stone is blackened, eaten away. I think it is supposed to evoke death. This stone has an image of the moon. On this stone, the sun is visible. This drawing looks like an infant. Could it represent life? The drawing on this stone makes me think of fire. I'm certain. The drawing on this stone resembles a symbol that must represent the earth. This stone is adorned with the etching of a drop of water. I must have lit the candles in the wrong order. Maybe in life you protect me in this battle. To my help! And death to the others! May the Tell us again exactly what you saw, my child. I was this tree. And my branch... I must have lit the candles in the wrong order. Maybe in life you protect me in this battle! I must have lit the candles in the wrong order. Maybe I must be protected in this battle. I must have lit the candles in the wrong order. Maybe in one can protect me in this battle. May the fire engulf my enemies.
I must have lit the candles in the front door. May the enlightened protect me in this battle! Move away! Things are about to get dicey! I must have lit the candles in the jungle. May the enlightened protect me in this battle! May the shadow engulf our enemies! I must have lit the candles in the jungle. May the shadow engulf our enemies. I must have lit the candles in the front door. May the enlightened protect me in this battle! This island really is full of surprises and mysteries. This weird puzzle actually opened the door. Los duis, atu deliam canade dole, tadulan verandi, alaun eles agen ole vei. Closi garamam e telami olflinau ich egrem, closi gadem ta yentis ola robini a ol slai. Vanqua sa kengadem fradem a digalem, linquid winter buso galansani. Tugon benis gremos nigawi, renkasi e krimadurem de negao edent, los duis, aruyekt nes diri! Lois de Graman a deis Gideon, a renta. Espar nufradi, dama gengadan, gadiga la dandien. Espar nufradi, Thou it Gaishidon, Agas Parnu Fradi, Thou it Gremos and Abui. There is no longer any doubt. The creature who was talking through this tree is a demon. In any case, Telemay's story suddenly sounds way more plausible. The Donegad who performed the ritual was the villagers. We should go talk to Dedra.
What do you seek? We found your sanctuary and assisted in one of your blood rituals. Was the apparition we witnessed the demon the priests were talking about? What is clear is these priests know nothing and you know nothing. I am not from Teleme. I cast no judgment upon your beliefs. But if you want us to help you, you need to help us understand. You may not be one of the women of the light, but you are not from here. You come here thinking you know the face of God, yet you call the spirit that guides us demon. You look like us, but you act just like them. A renoixe, an enemy that seeks only to conquer the spirits of these lands. You pretend to understand our customs, so show us you are worthy of our trust. If you confront in fair contest my warriors and defeat them, I will speak with you.